coverage of a big congressional race, a rematch in District 12. Our Dan Perlman has more on Democratic challenger Danny O'Connor. And Troy Balderson has only held the seat for three months. NBC4's Rob Sneed is live in Newark with his team tonight. And what's happening there, Rob? Yeah, we're live here at the uh, watch party for Troy Barterson. Now, we're at the Double Tree Hotel here in Newark, Ohio. You can see the sign it's right here. They are continuing to make adjustments here. This is one of the second, the second time, rather, that they've hung this sign previous to the uh, last special election. Now, this is a very tight race here for the Ohio 12th Congressional District. I had a chance to speak with Balderson back in August, the last special election, and Balderson credits his grassroots efforts for his last victory, and he's also implementing those right now. Now, Balderson stands behind Trump's agenda, including the Republican tax cuts and building a wall along the U.S. southern border with Mexico. Balderson would vote to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, but he favors insurance protections with those with pre-existing conditions. Now, of course, we're going to stay out here tonight as those numbers come in and bring you the latest as we uh, get those numbers. But, of course, I'm going to go ahead and toss it live to Dan Perlman. He's live in downtown Columbus with the latest on O'Connor's watch party and his campaign. Dan. Well, Rob, Danny O'Connor lost the special election back in August by less than one percentage point. That is part of the reason why today he is feeling so good going into the next couple of hours when the polls will, in fact, close. You can see him right here as he voted this morning here in Columbus. The current Franklin County recorder has said since the beginning he's the man to fight for the middle class, and he is confident, as voters said, okay, back to the about. polls. We feel great. I mean, turnout's through the roof. It's easy to vote. It's, uh, you know, it's important to make sure you exercise your right to vote and uh, your vote is your voice, and our country needs people to step up right now. And if, in fact, O'Connor does win tonight, he will be the first Democrat to win in this district in 35 years. Local for you. In Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. All right, Dan and Rob, thank you so much for those live updates.